We're underway. Three three-minute rounds of World Championship Boxing. The men's light heavyweight, under 81 kilo class. Cuba in blue. Peraza, Naya Zimbatov of Kazakhstan in red. Well, our third clash today between Cuba and Kazakhstan for a gold medal. And they are two class acts we see before us now. Nia Zembatov beat Orek Mamazulinov of Uzbekistan yesterday. He's ranked number one in the world. Nia Zimbatov, a triple silver medal winner at major events. But the world champion who took a victory in the semis against Joseph Ward of Ireland yesterday. Julio Pereza. Nia Zimbatov, Southport, and a hard hitter. Both have that relaxed, fluid style. Ready to hit from the hip. Pereza trying to draw Nia Zimbatov into his spider's web. Try and punish him both ways, in and out. Well, this is only one of two bouts today where uh, the number one seed takes on the number two seed. Both men uh, were uh, champions from their semi-finals. They were both given uh, buys at the beginning. But interestingly, it was Peraza who beat the Kazakh athlete at the last World Championships, and he beat him fairly convincingly as well. So it's a real bogey match, this, for Naya Zimbatov to have to uh, mentally pick himself up against this tricky Cuban who already is dancing around the ring, making things very awkward for Naya Zimbatov. Well, Naya Zimbatov at the semis in that matchup against Mamazulinov, that was a tough bout, but he displayed real championship skills. This always going to be electrifyingly fast. Very agile at this weight, these boys. And Pereza likes to dance, looks so composed, and just look at him use the ring, keeping Kazakh on his toes. Here Zambatov just can't get the target to lock on. A real demonstration of championship class. And when you come to fight a champion, you've got to beat a champion. And you've got to be convincing. And up until now, Nia Zambatov hasn't been able to get his own game off. The Cuban dancing, just looking so cool and in control. Well, that's it. End of round number one. And the Cuban uh, looked uh, just as cool as he normally does. His mouth closed. It doesn't look like he's breathing hard at all. Ibrahimov. Former uh, Olympic gold medalist on the left there uh, for Kazakhstan, watching on. Fought at a very similar weight here to Anaya Zimbatov, who uh, tried to take it to the Cuban. Well, the Cuban moved so well and evaded really everything that uh, the Kazakh could throw at him. And a little smile there from Pereza. Nia Zimbatov might just start to get frustrated. Well, uh, Peraza of Cuba only given uh, the nod by one of the judges, Judge C. Naya Zimbatov, because of his aggression and uh, his forward motion, was given two of the judges. 10-9, so an extremely tight bout. They come out for round number two. Kibos Peraza in blue, the world champion against the man he beat in the last world championships, Naya Zimbatov in red of Kazakhstan, who currently leads. Now, Peraza starting to try and really outfox Nia Zambatov. Always moving, just presenting such a difficult, difficult target to lock on. Nia Zimbatov just having to slow things down, just to try and Lock on to that moving target that presents from Julio Peraza. Good double combination from Peraza, closes the distance well, drops the right hand in. Look at the left. Here's 
Berbatov struggling to make any inroads in this second round. But all the work coming from the Cuban. Perez takes his opponent to the right, then moves to the left, which means that that left hand can't get across. So used to fighting southpaws and really working Naya Zimbatov hard here. Oh, one thing Peraz is good at is just keeping the perfect distance away. Naya Zimbatov's chucking that jab out there, but missing by an inch from Peraz's nose. It's phenomenal the way he can judge this distance. The right hand of the Cuban going through. Almost heat-seeking Peraza with the shot. They're not enough to cause a problem for Naya Zimbatov, but he's scoring away Peraza. And quicker hands. Naya Zimbatov is losing out, has to be losing out in the point scoring stakes. So the champion. Well, giving us a class display here in the second round. All about distance, all about range. The margins just so minuscule. Gets tagged again, here's Ambatov. Absolutely no guard from the Kazakh. Yeah, both men uh, keeping their guard exceptionally low. Chucking the jab from down by the hip. Well, uh, three or four good punches now could make the difference in this round. Not much has got through. Oh, and a really good punch. Two or three great punches right on the bell from Naya Zimbatov. And I wonder whether the judges had already made their minds up for Peraza because uh, that really was the best exchange of the entire round. Yeah, after what was a game of cat and mouse throughout that round, Nia Zimbatov managed to lock on the target and throw that big left cross in right on the bell. And actually, if we hadn't had the bell, that could have been problematic for the champion. Well, the judges all see it in favor of Parasa and all of the work he did for the first two minutes and 50 seconds. But that last 10 seconds from Nia Zimbatov, well, Look at this, one judge has a Peraza overall then, 18-20, the other two have it as a draw. Right now, going into this final round, the Kazakh is down, the Cuban is up. Will this be the first loss for Kazakhstan in this World Championship Finals night? We're underway, last three minutes to decide the men's light heavyweight. Julio Peraza, the world champion in blue for Cuba, has a fractional lead over the world silver medalist from Baku, the Kazakhstan, Naya Zimbatov. Well, a sense of urgency about both men now into this third round. The champ just looking so relaxed and taunting, trying to bring Naya Zimbatov in and turn him. And actually, Naya Zimbatov has done his homework. He just doesn't want to engage unless he's sure that he can get that shot off because he's a will of the wisp is Peraza. He'll turn his man, put the shot in on the counter. Great, great movement. Great reversal of momentum, the champion. Peraza able to turn, bring his man on and almost, well, hitting at will now. Nia Zambatov just can't get the shot on, looking for a big hit. Maybe that's not the strategy here. The Cuban outboxing, the Kazakh fighter. Uh, this is still very, very tight. A minute 25 to go. Oh, and a great hit there from the Cuban. A big right hook across the face of Naya Zimbatov. And Naya Zimbatov knows he's got to get busy now. Just look at the lateral movement from the champion. Great footwork, he's on his toes. He's round that ring as quick as you like. And uh, Naya Zimbatov losing out to faster hands here. Just can't catch the champion flush. 
throwing with both hands first now. And Peraza giving us a real demonstration. The frustration of Mia Zambatov almost palpable here. Well, Peraz is just tying him up nicely when he comes in. Oh, and a cracking right hand for the Cuban as well. The Kazakh supporters are trying to buoy their man. 25 seconds to go. But to be honest, it's about as quiet as we've heard them in one of these World Championship finals. They're worried. Raza just keeping out of trouble. He knows he's done enough in the first round and hits with the right first. That's the message to the judges. I can hit at will. I don't even have to lead in with the left hand. Well, it would be a big shock and a big upset if Julio Perez hasn't done enough here. Well, he was just magnificent in the way he danced around the ring there. And uh, it was a demonstration, really, of how to uh, avoid any punches. Absolutely. The slippery skills just available on tap. Cuba, with Perez, could pick up a medal here. So the judges uh, just accruing their final scores. It was very tight going into uh, the final round. And uh, the judges had it just ahead for the Cuban. And has he done enough in this final round then to hang on to his world championship title? First and second in Baku in Azerbaijan. First and second once again, it's the Cuban, Julio Cesar de la Cruz, who takes the victory, 28-29, 29-28 back the other way from the pole, but 27-30 from the final judge, a clear victory. Men's light heavyweight, under 81 kilo class medal ceremony here at the AIBA World Boxing Championships, about to happen. It's the mayor of Almaty City, Mr. Akmazan Yesimov, who shall be giving out the medals. And alongside him, giving out the flowers, will be the world champion from 1989, Mr. Igor Ruznikov. Now come our four athletes, two medals, of course, going to third place from the losing semi-finalists. Well, this is the first time tonight uh, Kazakhstan has come out for the podium, having competed in the final and not stood on top. But it was uh, an immense display from the world champion as we look at the bronze medalists receiving their awards. Oyoibek Mamazulanov taking the bronze for Uzbekistan. And next to him is uh, Joe Ward of Ireland. And a very tough uh, semi-final indeed. Ward got beaten by Peraza, the eventual winner. 3-0. Big cheers for their losing finalist, the silver medalist in the men's light heavyweight, Adelbeck Naya Zimbatov. It was up against an almost uh, impossible task in the shape of Julio Peraza. World champion in 2011, still world champion in 2013. He is the reigning king of this weight category, the men's light heavyweight. And we can now...